Hello guys, welcome to my first Notch tutorial. In this one, I'm going to introduce some very basic and useful tips and resources for the Notch beginners. So before we start, I'd like to introduce myself a little bit. Currently, I'm a graduate student studying digital future at OCAD University in Toronto, Canada. And I'm pretty sure that most of you guys more or less have some basic knowledge about Touch Designer. In my case, I also have almost three years of experience working with it. I find it's really handy to use Touch Designer and Notch as a combination to create some amazing real-time interactive stuff. Oh, by the way, I also made some Touch Designer tutorials you can check it on my website at dreamly.art. So back to me. Currently, I'm holding a learning license just for unlocking the save function and expose some parameters to the media server. It is really essential for your learning curve. For my knowledge and skills in Notch, I'm definitely at a beginning level. The reason I'd like to make tutorials for you guys is I'd like to share some process that how I learn and how I made progress with the notch. Yes, as I'm moving forward, I will share more things with you guys. So feel free to discuss with me and also correct me if I was wrong. Let's get started. The first thing of first. We need to confirm our graphics card whether it's powerful enough. As we all know, Notch is the software that is based on the real-time rendering. What you see is what you get. So it is really critical to make sure you have a really powerful graphics card installed. Whenever I start to work in a new workstation, the first thing I would do is to check the benchmarks of the GPU in Notch. So we can go to the help, find benchmarking and trying to run it in your computer. Then submit it, so you will see the rank of your GPU in notch marks. Currently, the GPU I'm holding is the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti. I try to work on the laptop and I am a Mac person. The laptop I'm using is the latest the new MacBook Pro. 16 inches with the most powerful AMD 5600 graphics card but it is located somewhere here so whenever I try to work on that it starts to cry very fast so if you really focus on the portability the best option you can get is to have a gaming laptop notch is not the same as like touch diner if you have enough budget I strongly recommend you to get a powerful GPU. And also, Notch has installed a performance monitor for us. You can go to the view, then click the performance. It is really handy to check your local GPU performance and the performance in your target system. One more extra step I will always do is opening the task manager behind the scene so that I can know better how much is my GPU resource occupied. Also, to have a better overview of my GPU performance. As you can see right now, my setup is quite simple, but when I start to run it, it is increasing very fast. Okay, that is the tips about the GPU selection. In the next part, I'd like to share some useful resources for you guys. So the first one definitely will be the Notch Essential Online Course. It covers all the basic knowledge about Notch, like introduction, lighting, materials, modifiers, and particle systems. What's more important for us is in the project file we download at this website, there's a PDF file which is listing all the short keys. It is the key to make your workflow faster. Otherwise, you are really easy to get confused when you're watching some other tutorials. The second useful link is the Notch Reference Menu. How to check it? 
you can click each node. There's a question marker on the top. It is also covered all the nodes in a notch. And it is written in details so that you can check what each parameters and effects can do. The third link is the Notch official YouTube channel. It introduced the different kinds of the techniques and also I find the Notch Summit in the last year was also enlightening. The next is the Notch official website. You can get any latest information at here. There's a lot of folks discussing and helping each other in form. I would say always keep an eye on it. The same as Touch Diner, we have a lovely large group in Facebook. You can throw your question here if you have some problems. Also, in Cave YouTube channel, here has a lot of amazing tutorials. It is also a good starting point. So the last link is from TA community in China. It was all written in Chinese. If you can read it, it is also amazing. The final underused territory is inside the notch. Whenever you create a new project file or you insert a new layer, there's a lot of templates the project examples for you to play with. For instance, I can open the particle effects and hit the play. Then I can try to figure out what is going on and what each node can do. Okay, that is all for today's tutorial. Hope you like it. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Alright, see you guys. Happy programming. Take care.